everyone, welcome to Baby Bunting's live series, episode three. Today we have Maxi Cozy experts, myself and Rob, not Hi to on. talk ourselves up too much, uh, but we're very excited to be here tonight to take continually take the consumer experience from in-store to home. Some of you may have already seen the live video that we did uh, about two Saturdays ago, actually. Sorry, it wasn't live, it was a video that was posted and we covered capsules and we covered convertible car seats. So we wanted to expand on that today and actually take you through our two key prams available here at Baby Bunting and then further car seats in newborn category and then also 12 months plus and four years plus for anyone who's after any extra information on that. So Rob is our product manager, car seat product manager from Maxi Cozy, and he will be taking you through all the car seats. I'm gonna to demonstrate to you the prams. But really excitingly, stay tuned throughout this whole program. The reason why is we're giving away a Vita Pro this time. So we're doing a convertible car seat, not to four, the Vita Pro top of our range. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much love Rob loves it. It's uh, $599 in store. So you can have this seat, you know, if you actually enter. So what you have to do is just go to the Facebook comments feed and on any of the products that we're demonstrating tonight, just put a comment in, what's your favorite feature? Uh, what do you love about it? And you'll be able to go into the competition. It will be announced tomorrow night and then you'll have this product shipped directly to you very, very soon. So without further ado, thank you, Rob. I'll start off with the prams. So this is our amazing Maxi Cozy Lila pram. Bit of a side note, this was actually developed in Europe over four years. So it was developed from the grounds up and it's been amazing because they were able to think about everything that a consumer might need at an amazing price point as well. So we know as well at the moment, like I don't know about your area, but definitely where I live, everyone is walking. Like I've never seen so many people exercising out and about and I've never seen so many prams out as well. So one of the key things that I love about the Leela is the fact that it's got never flat tires. So it's got rubber and foam um, in all of the wheels. So what that means is that you can go on any terrain. If you've got rough gravel, if you're on pavement, uh, in a shopping center, wherever it might be, it will take you wherever you need to go and will never be flat. So, and what also that does is it gives extra suspension, which means that your baby will not be rocking around inside too much. There are a lot of accessories in this pram. Firstly, we've got the boot cover, which if you're from Melbourne or Tasmania, it gets quite cool throughout every part of the year. But if you're in winter or autumn in other parts, it's fantastic to have the boot cover on here and actually keeps your baby feeling nice, nice and cozy. So that's part of the pram. Inside, something that was developed is this pediatrician made pillow. And here is a little indentation. And basically what that is, is it helps to stop flathead syndrome. And it gives your baby the impression that they're still in the womb. So their head will be here and their legs will be able to be slightly curled over. And it gives them that cocoon feeling. So it gives you the comfort as well that your baby is being nestled beautifully and comfortably and getting all the comfort that they need as well. So when you're walking around, you know that they're gonna be um, beautifully cocooned basically. So this can be used from newborn up to approximately four months or until you really just start to see your child is growing out of it and it's no longer needed. You can feed the harness through if required as well, um, which is part of the pram. When you take that part of the out, I'm gonna take this little boot cover off as well. We have an insert that is suitable for both seasons. So what does that mean? It's actually for winter and for summer. So we have an underground side which is a mesh, perfect for summer to give an aeration. And then we have a soft cotton on top for winter. So again, giving your baby that beautiful comfort whilst you're walking around. Now in these times and even outside of these times, you wanna make sure that your baby's nicely cocooned and people aren't watching you. So what you have got is a nap keeper. So this nap keeper is mesh and you can walk around and you can know that people can't peekaboo, have a little look in but it also creates a darker environment for your child to be able to um, be able to have a little nap. I think a question's just come through. Oh, the, sorry, one question has come through. The, this is called the Maxi Cozy Leela. So on the Baby Bunting website, just put in Maxi Cozy Leela. It is suitable as a single right now, and I'm going to take it also into, you can use it as a two-seater pram as well. So it's perfect for um, if you've already got a child 
and you've got another one on the way, but you need a second seat to be able to, to walk around, but you know that your second child actually is quite active um, and just needs someone to sit every now and then, then this actually gives you that possibility, but without being too bulky. So it's actually all gonna be within the same platform, with all the same footprint of the pram as well. This is also perfect if you're pregnant for the first time and you're considering maybe you will have a second child, but you're not 100% sure. You know that this pram will give you that versatility to be able to have uh, a second seat on there as well for when you do have that second child as well. So apologies for not mentioning that earlier, but very good little question. So this is the nap keeper that easily folds back up as well. Then on the hood, it is water resistant and UPF 50 plus. And then on there, we've got these beautiful light reflectors. So if you're walking at night, especially now, because it's quite dark, uh, there will be car lights that will reflect off that, making it safer for you as well. Then we've got three re reclined positions. So to be able to do that, you just do it underneath here. So go into a second position and all the way up as well. Really key note, when you first have your child, have them facing you in the bassinet mode. And then as they become more curious in life, that's when it's time to put the seat up or face them forward. But by having it in the parent facing mode to start off with, it really encourages parent-child interaction, which is what they really need and also what you kind of need as well. To fold it down, it's super easy. You can do it with the seat, but the seat needs to be facing forward. So for this demonstration, I will actually take off the seat. We have what's called memory buttons. So you click your button in here, don't have to touch it again. Click that in there, and this comes off like so. Remove the basket, which I haven't even gotten to yet. So in most prams, they've got a basket where you've got to take everything out. In this instance, you can just fill your basket, take it all off in one shot, and then put it into the boot of the car or take it straight um, inside wherever you might be. To fold it down, just slide this across and hold that and it slides down like so. Make it super easy flat. If you've got your car, you can load that on top and put the basket on top as well. It's really amazing. And in terms of maneuverability, um, I've actually got a friend who loves golf and he likens the maneuverability to like a golf buggy because it's such a small, compact, easy way to, uh, to manoeuvre the pram itself. So he really loved how easy it is. He really loves the, the versatility on rough terrain as well and he really does liken it to a golf buggy. So for all the men out there, can't play golf with it, but you can feel like you are. And so this thing can go on the front like so and then you can have your baby facing out to the world. So the next part um, that I haven't really showed is just down at the bottom is easy break on, break off. So if you've got thongs on, it's easy to maneuver. And I just wanna show now the uh, second seat and how to put that on. So when it comes to the second seat, all of the adapters will be included into the second seat box. So this is what the second seat looks like. And you have these adapters here. So this will actually be attached to the back. And this seat will come on the front. So you basically just spread these out and you just push it on. The nerves got the better of me. And then this can just come straight onto the back like so. And you can have this in full bassinet mode as well. So if you can imagine you've got your newborn here, you've got your second child at the front and you're able to move it, maneuver around and whatever you need to do out and about. But what you can see, which is fantastic, is the fact that it's actually not taking up too much of a footprint. Um, one of the guys, he just said tonight, it's like a social distancing pram in terms of being able to keep the distance. Um, but it's amazing, again, so there are bundle deals available on the um, Baby Bunting website if you need a bite straight away or you can start off with a single use and then buy the second seat later on. Um, it's amazing little pram. So that is the Maxi Cozy Leela. Suitable for a newborn. This first seat goes up to 20 kilos. This front one goes up to 17 kilos. Um, really easy to manoeuvre to put into the boot and out. Amazing all terrain. W moves around like a golf baby as well, making it super easy. Very small turning circle. And the basket easily comes out that you can take inside the house or you can take put it into the car if need be. And yeah, they're the key things. So I'm going to move on now to the Maxi Cozy Zelly app. So one moment. 
One thing at Insane the Leela, it also does take our maxi cozy capsule. So it is suitable to be what's called a travel system. A travel system is when a capsule is moved from a car onto a pram and pram um, is it taken out of the pram into your house or back into the car as needed. And I'll demonstrate how that actually works on the Zalia. So this is our maxi cozy Zalia, also available on the Baby Bunting website. We do have two colours. We've got the Nomad Grey and the Nomad Black. So this as well includes a boot cover, again, for the, fantastic for the cooler months, keeping your baby beautifully cocooned inside. Comes with a cup holder, beautiful big basket space, easy to fold down to. Inside is, a, um, is an insert that has Cool Baby Wicking Fabric. And this basically ties into our Cool Baby Wicking Fabric that's found on our car seats as well. So what it does is it wicks moisture away from your baby, keeping them cool in summer and also warm in winter. Once, if you don't want to use this or once you've had enough of it, you can actually just take out this insert and there's another fantastic underlayer underneath. We do have an easy um, system recline up the back if you wanted to be able to make it more of an incline for your child's head. And then you do have multiple positions too. So this converts from a bassinet to a seat, similar to the Leela. So I'm just going to take this off so you can see it a bit easier. You just pull these toggles and now it converts into a seat. I'll move this around so you can probably see a little bit more, like so. So now you've got this beautiful seat in here that your child can be facing you or again facing out. So to remove it into the forward facing position, just take it out like so, put it around and clip in. You can fold this down with or without the seat. To do it with, with the seat on, I'm just gonna remove the adapters in there for the moment. So you basically just fold this over and fold it up. You can easily just hold this bar here and close it in like so. To open it up, there's always this little um, lever on the side that you just basically release and away it goes. So this is a total of 9.6 kilos, super easy to put in and out the car if need be or if you need to compact it and put it away in your home so it's out of the way, it's really simple to do as well. This is also UPF 50 plus hood um, and also water resistant and we've got the extendable canopy. So if you don't want the full extension, you can also pull it back like so. They're the key things in the Zalia. Um, I wanna show you now how to convert it into a travel system. Let me take this off. So in our Maxi Cozy prams, we have adapters. Um, if you buy uh, other prams and you want to put it together as a travel system with the Maxi Cozy Miko or Miko Plus, the pram company will supply the adapters, but in our Maxi Cozy prams, we supply it for you already. Um, so these are normally worth at retail about $49.95, and these are already in the box, which is amazing. On all adapters, there's always an L and an R. So looking from the back, just put them like so. And then just take the capsule off the base. So there is a full demonstration on capsules, again, on the Facebook video that we launched uh, two Saturdays ago. So f please feel free to go check it out, not now, but soon, um, after this demo if you need more. But I'll go over a couple of the basics as well. So this basically slides on, like so, and you can walk around. So you might see people walking around shopping centres or in the street doing this. A couple of reasons why you might go for this type of system, it's called a travel system, is you may have you're having a first child and you're really nervous about putting them in and out of the car, you may not actually know how busy you're going to be in and out of the house. And babies have can have infrequent sleeping patterns and we all know that once they're asleep, you do not want to wake them up. So if you are going to be in and out of the home quite a lot or you're not even too sure, what this does is it gives you that option of being able to get in and out of the home um, by putting the capsule from the car, putting on the pram without waking them up, which is amazing. The other thing as well is, if you're onto your second, third, fourth child, however many children, basically more than one, I 100% recommend a capsule. Uh, the reason is, is that you have to do child, um, child care drop-offs, school drop-offs, whatever it might be, you will definitely be in between sleep times. So the capsule gives you that option if you need to quickly go to the shops after you've done the drop-off or you're picking up the kids. It allows you the flexibility to have your baby asleep and, or in their little napping time 
without having to interrupt their little world, but you still get to have the freedom that you might need as well to get through your day. So the two key reasons that we do recommend the capsules. Uh, once the capsule is on here, you can put the bar back like so. This does have an extender by the way, I'm a little bit of a shorty, so I'll have it down. Um, then we've got the hood down here, UPF 50 plus as well. You can have it back. In here you've got Air Protect uh, that Rob is gonna talk much more to in terms of our safety shield. And then we've got our Cozy Dozy. So the Cozy Dozy is found on our capsules and that again is to help stop against flat head syndrome. You easily just move the harness up from slot to slot if need be. And when you get back to the car, all you do is just put this up. There's a couple of different ways of doing this. Um, everyone finds their own little way. I recommend this way. I like to go this way. Take it off. Put your arms up here. And then this is in the car. Move this out of the way for you. And then imagine that's in the car and then this slides in and then there's a tether that connects up as well. So that's a, a little bit of an overview of the capsule. So that is everything when it comes to the Maxi Cozy Leela. Uh, the second seat of the Leela and the Zalia. I hope that's answered everything. If not, please feel free to put a little comment there on Facebook. Remember as well, if there's a feature on there that you loved about any of the products, make sure you mention it so you can enter the competition to win our Beta Pro. So I'm gonna introduce now Rob and he's gonna take you through convertible car seats, convertible booster and booster. Thank you. Car seat time. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, my name's Rob. Uh, thanks Linda for the introduction. Gonna take you guys through the car seats um, during this difficult time and try and give you as much information as possible but at the same time, really wanna give you guys a bit of an overview about the really important aspects of each category as we go through. If you have any questions, please send them through and we'll be happy to answer them during the presentation. Uh, so we've just talked about capsules, of course, starting from newborn. There is another category as well that encompasses the newborn, and that is the convertible car seat. Linda has done a much more in-depth video, um, as you mentioned, a couple weeks ago, so if you feel like you want more information after this demonstration, please go check it out. Um, it's a great video. Otherwise, we're just gonna touch on and on the Euro Slim and the Euro Plus specific, uh, specifically right now. So, what I'm gonna do is first, I wanna start with safety. Uh, Linda spoke about air protect in the capsule. Uh, we do have air protect also in our Euro Slim here, up in the headrest and the top here. Uh, air Protect is a really soft uh, cushion. Think of it like as a static airbag. So when an airbag goes off in your car, this is always active, it's always there. It's like an airbag technology around the head. Uh, the idea is that when it's inside, it should be soft because it's against the body, really comfortable, but also very effective at um, absorbing crashing forces and dissipating the shock away from the temple. But also, uh, actually no, that's it. It's really comfortable. <laughs> But on our Euro Plus, for instance, we do have the G-Cell technology, which I will talk about a little bit more when I bring it up. But then talking about the next sort of features, what's also really important to consider above safety is ease of use. These seats are very technical. The easier it is for you to use, make, the easier it is to make sure that you're using it correctly, which means you're using it safer. So they come with an abundance of um, ease of use features. I wanna to talk to you about the most important ones. I'm gonna start with the top of the seat, and that being the headrest and the adjustment of the harness. I actually probably cannot stress enough how important it is to have an adjustable headrest and harness adjustment in the car. It means that when it's installed, clearly not right now, but when it is installed, it means that you can adjust the height of your headrest to suit your child as they grow, but at the same time it adjusts the harness height as well, which means you don't have to uninstall the car seat, take it out, you can reconfigure it, put it back in, reinstall. More likely to use the seat correctly because you're doing less work, less for you to remember. To adjust the headrest, you simply loosen the harness, like so, by lifting the flap at the front and pulling the harness so it's loose. And then we've got little toggles on the top. Push the toggles in, lift the headrest up. And you can see it gradually grows as the child does. This also lifts our harness up. So it has a few heights up, all the way up to a four-year-old. We're starting at a newborn right now, and this is in a forward-facing mode. But you can adjust the headrest quite easily in the car. You don't have to take it out. Such an important feature. Also, in terms of ease of use, we have two installation methods. So this seat can be installed with a seatbelt in your car and also can be installed with Isofix. Isofix is an ease of use feature for installation, like here on the side, and these connect into your car. So please check your vehicle first to make sure you can use Isofix before considering it. But if you do have it, it's really, really good because when you've got correct tension, and 
um, hopefully you can see that through the video there, it will display green. And when it displays green, you know that you've installed it correctly. So this is a really great ease of feature. It clicks in, you pull, tight, and you've got green. It makes it much easier for you to install. So really cool ease of use feature there again. Uh, the other, some other features are we've also got extended rearward facing. So extended rearward facing is really important because it means that your child can rearward face for longer. Rearward facing is, is the most important thing when it came, comes to keeping your newborn and your smaller child safe. So, what does extended rear facing mean? So when the car seat is in a rear facing mode, like I'm just quickly demonstrating now, that would be your rear facing mode. And so, extended rear facing means you can rear face to up to approximately 30 months, which means the headrest can also can, creep, can be adjusted quite a lot before you then need to transition to forward facing, as I'm trying to carefully demonstrate. So roughly about there. So it could almost fit, as I say, a 30 month year old at the upper limit, of course, you can also transition when you feel that you meet this middle, the, the central height marker. The, once they get to approximately 12 months, if you want to, but extended rear facing, really safe. So, when you do transition to forward facing, we have three points of adjustable recline. So on the side here, we'll display your recline right here where I'm pointing. To adjust the recline, there's a big red button at the front, give it a click, and it'll drop into those recline options. So right now, it's in its most reclined state, and that just adds a little bit more comfort for your child. If, when, when, if and when they are forward facing. Our fabrics are all bamboo wicking fabrics, they're super soft, very comfortable, high endurance, and they help to wick away sweat as the child gets hot and helps keep him cool for longer. So a really great comfort feature there as well. You have your infant insert as well, which is designed to be suitable up to six months of age. So when they get to approximately six months old, when they're rear facing, take it out. If you turn them to forward facing, again, remove the insert and it opens up more room for the seat, allowing them to grow and use the seat for longer up to four years of age. So that's really the basics of our Euro Slim there. Again, if you have any further questions, please feel free to comment and we'll try to answer them. Linda, can you grab this one for me? Absolutely. Thank you. Now I'm gonna talk about, really quickly, on the Euro Plus. So the Euro Plus has some key differences that I just wanna quickly highlight for you. In terms of safety, as I mentioned, we have the G-Cell technology. So the G-Cell, the G-cell is on the outside of the car seat and it is a hexagon crushable element. It is a, uh, a panel that dissipates shock and force from intruding outside external forces. So in other words, it just reduces the amount of force that's penetrating into the seat and it's an over and above safety feature to help just prevent serious injury during those really serious incidents. So again, above and beyond safety and with the two together, you have what we call safety shield. You have your specific bespoke torso protection, and you have your headrest protection safety. So together they create safety shield. Air Protect and G-Cell working together. Another main key difference for this seat is you also have an ease of use feature, and that being is our magnetic harness holders. So these are a really great feature. They help to keep the harness out of the way when you're transitioning a child in and out of the car, especially useful for rear facing but in forward facing is still pretty useful as well. So you can see they hold themselves, so when you're ready to come back into the seat, all you have to do is place your child carefully and then pull them off, and then you just simply buckle up again. So again, available on both sides, and it just helps to keep the harness managed a bit easier. Again, ease of use. The easier it is for you to use, the more likely you are to use it correctly. So, they're the two key main differences. Of course, comes in some different colors and fashions, but otherwise, in terms of technicality, they're the main differences. So that's our Euro Plus and our Euro Slim. So now I want to talk to some different categories. I want to talk to categories where your child isn't just a newborn, they might be in excess of 12 months of age. So, first one I want to talk about is our Titan Pro. This is one of our newer seats, and it is, a, it is called a convertible booster. It's suitable from beyond 12 months of age all the way up to eight, and it's harnessed up to four and it converts into a booster mode. Now that all sounds pretty serious and pretty hard to understand. So let's break it down. Again, let's talk about the safety features. I talked about air protecting G-cell before and safety shield. This seat, safety shield. So it has your air protect in the headrest, really important safety feature, and it has your G-cell on the side. Okay, so that's your safety covered. 
Because it's an older, older child restraint, it doesn't have the isofix feature we talked about in the ease of use element. So when we consider the ease of use elements, it does have an adjustable headrest like we discussed. So whenever you're adjusting the headrest, loosen off your harness. And you can see that easy adjustment, one hand adjustment there, really simple. There's just a button on the back, so I'm just going to turn around so you can see. And you give that a squeeze, and you can lift the headrest up and down. So really easy in, in installation, in car adjustment. Very important, as I highlighted before. So it has that ease of use feature. But as I mentioned, it doesn't have Isofix, and that's just because these sort of seats don't come with Isofix. So it is a belt installation. So I just want to highlight that for everyone. If you're thinking you want to get an older child seat and you're looking for Isofix, it isn't available in Australia. Okay. So in terms of ease of use, we've also got, and as I mentioned before, it's a Camille booster, so it's always forward facing, it's always forward facing, and it has two really key great ease of use features that I want to highlight to you today. So the first one is it's got a really great spring-loaded comfort recline. So you're, right now we're in the upright position, say your child wants to, you know, likes to sleep often in the car, you just want to give them a bit more comfort. You can adjust the recline of the seat simply by squeezing the button and adjusting that recline. I'll put it on the side so I can demonstrate it nicer for you. So you can see that, that's upright, and that's our recline position. It comes with three positions, so there is a middle as well, but it does have three positions. Super easy to adjust, one hand, and adjust like so. So that's our comfort recline. But a really great thing about it is that as, it recline, as, it, as you do the recline, the top tether position doesn't change. So why is this important? Let me explain. So when you have your installation done, you have this top tether element that's connected to your car. As you adjust your restraint from recline positions, it pivots on this connection piece, which means you never have to loosen off your top tether to adjust those recline positions like you do in other car seats. This is something you can do inside the vehicle. Same thing with the headrest. Inside the vehicle, you can make those adjustments for you. So if your child wants to go into a recline, recline position on a long drive, you can make that quick adjustment because it pivots around the top tether. Such an important feature. Now, the next major ease of use feature is what we call the grow safe feature. So the grow safe feature means that this headrest can be used all the way through from your lower, from your 12 month old approximately and up, and it transitions all the way to an older child. But better yet, once you get to this height, it actually stops me from going any higher. I've maximised my use of the harness, and this is where it gets a bit technical. So, now it's ready to become a booster. So the difference between a harness seat and a booster seat is that a harness seat uses a harness, and the booster uses the lap sash in your vehicle, and it goes through the lap sash guides that I'm trying to identify here, where it says red. But right now, it's too, the headrest is a bit too low, and the harness needs to be taken out before it can then be turned into a booster. And the great thing about this feature is that you can't misuse it. Once you get to this position where it's, where it's not letting you go any higher, it's telling you it's time to move on, it's time to transition. So, I'm going to put this one away. And here's one I preferred earlier. So, you take your insert out, go on. And right now, the headrest is in that lower position, but the harness has been removed. So what happens is, the headrest can now come up to its higher position. So you can clearly see the headrest is allowed to come up higher. You can now see the, the, the sash guides here, which allows for you to convert into the booster mode properly. In the seat stores the buckle and it stores the harness. So, if you look underneath the headrest here, and I'll try my best to show you, we have a storage system for the harness. There's a little, there's a little uh, storage unit behind on the back and you simply take your harness to the sides and you store it behind. If you want additional information on how to transition specifically, please visit our website and visit some other videos and we'll be able to give you that content. There's also a buckle storage underneath the seat as well. So this is a really great seat for that child that's considering 12 months and beyond. You've got that really great recline feature, you've got the safety shield technology, the air protect and the G-cell, but also, as I said, that in-car recline. Such an important feature, such great comfort. So, that is really the main pieces of the Titan Pro. And so now what I want to touch on is the next sort of seat up, which would be considered your, just your solo booster. So, the roadie. So, the roadie is used from a four-year-old to an eight-year-old. As you see, no harness. 
and it's just a booster mode. So you just use the lap sash guides as a booster. Really, probably the most sophisticated, great booster on the market. You've got, as I said, that one-handed adjustment headrest and really, really, really tall. Comes up really high, so it's really great for that older child. And you've got the sash guides on the side as demonstrated before. Again, comes with the Air Protect technology, so you have that safety aspect covered. And you have so many different forms of adjustment. You've got adjustable side wings to adjust the width for your child as they grow out. And you also have a comfort recline in this roadie as well. So, adjust the to adjust the recline position your hand at the front as shown, pop it up, drop it into that recline feature, and you can actually see it's also reclined. So really great lightweight, lightweight booster with recline, really high headrest, really easy to use, and as I said, just a really, really, really great option for your older child. Yeah. So that's about me covered, guys. Yeah, um, well done. Any more questions, as I said, feel free to click them through. Thank you, Rob. But I think I'll hand it back to Linda now. Thanks, buddy. No problem. Just a reminder that we're finishing up on the Beta Pro. Again, this is just part of the competition. Please enter by putting your favourite feature of anything that you've seen tonight. We've covered Pram, so Maxi Cozy Leela. The Maxi Cozy Zalia are our prams, available on Baby Bunting website. Then we've also touched on the Maxi Cozy Miko P capsule, Maxi Cozy Euro Slim, Euro Plus, Titan Pro, and also the Roadie. So you'll be able to get one of these seats if you just put in any of the features that you have liked on anything you've seen tonight. We've got a couple of minutes now for any questions that may have come in. Um, so feel free, Rob, I'm going to get you back on as well, just in case they pass any questions. No problem. All right. So Janelle on Facebook has asked, what is the best pram for a two-year-old? Janelle likes to get out and walk a lot, so it needs a great hood. It so is out, of, out of those two, which would be best? Okay, so I would probably recommend the Leela if it's for a big walk because it can go all terrain. Um, it also goes with 20 kilos as well and uh, it's quite compact. So I think that will have a, a stronger suspension if you're going into an um, all terrain environment. Caitlin on Facebook has asked, what is the weight of the Leela pram? The weight is, I knew I was going to get asked this, I believe it's 12.8 kilos altogether. The frame itself is, someone help me, that 6.8 I think it was, and um, I can't quite remember what the other part was. I do apologise, we'll come back to that in a moment. <laughs> um, of the, from the Maxi Cozy car seats, are they easy to wash? Yes, oh, I did talk about washing. Oh, yes, absolutely. So uh, all of the covers come off um, and, of course, machine washable. So that depends on the car seat you're looking at. Uh, you may have to consider just loosening off your installation at the very least just to pull them off. But headrest comes off, uh, the, the body covers come off and absolutely can be machine washed. It will differ depending on the, what, what product you're considering. Um, but, yes, definitely can be machine washed, absolutely. Now, Chantel on Facebook has asked... Which seat would be appropriate to have three of them in a row in a car? Great question. So this is a question that we consistently get asked at the, as the product team at um, Maxi Cozy. Um, so one of the challenges is that it depends on your vehicle and depends on the seats, depends on your child. To be honest, I could say, yeah, I've, I've managed to fit three Vita Smarts, for instance, three across in a car, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will fit in your vehicle. So if I can give you the best advice, it's to potentially come into store uh, maybe call ahead during these duff conditions, but the best thing you can do is actually have a go at trying to fit them into your car, but you might need to just call and check with your store first um, just to make sure it's a bit. Okay. So some of the, um, I think some of the, so I think it, just on that, yeah, apologies, yeah. I think it might be a bit tricky for some people to get into yeah, the store, and also I'm not sure if the car seats are allowed to go out to cars at the moment. So a couple of key things, if you've got bucket seats, go for the Euro Slim Euro Plus. If you've got more of a flat bench at the back, you definitely go for the Vita, and then depends on the configuration. So if you've got yeah. a four year plus, then you'd go like a yeah. roadie, for example, in the middle, and then yeah. you'd be able to have one seat, for example, in rearward facing, and then on the other side, um, forward facing as well. It's like a little puzzle and configuration. Um, feel free to actually message us directly, um, or via Baby Bunting, just give them the dimensions of what you're working with, and we can work with you directly to help you out in that instance. That's and I'm just no gonna drama. jump on that again. Um, if you do message us directly, at our website or via us. Um, if we do have a car of your type, even in our car or we have one available, we can try and make the configuration with you if, yeah. just to kind of help out um, to the best of our ability. It might be a bit challenging, but we can do the best we can just to yeah. try and give you a, a better answer that's more specific to you and your yeah. needs. So reach out to Bay Bunting Customer Service or Mexico's Customer yeah. Service and we can help you out directly, no drama. Um, now Tori on Instagram has asked, on the, the Leela Pram, can yeah. the seat face 
face forward with the second seat? So the second seat, you mean, sorry, just to be clarified, the, the toddler seat at the front, because that is facing forward? And then, I think the other ones, so oh, the both other ones. of them facing forward, and both in the same direction. Yes, so the, 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 the part of the pram that goes from bassinet and can be seated up and down can face forward and can also be parent facing as well. And are you able to fold the pram with the bassinet on? You need to take the bassinet off, but it's super easy with the, um, uh, with the memory clip button to just literally click one one and then take it off and then fold it down. And then just on that as well, with the bassinet, if it is forward facing though, you can fold it down. I was thinking bassinet mode when it's parent facing, that's when you take it off. But yeah, you can do it forward facing and fold down as well. Apologies for that. And that's it. So thank you everyone for joining. I hope that's been insightful. Um, please send through any other questions that you might have and we can help you out on the side. Um, yeah, see you next time or wherever it might be the next uh, Facebook Live with Baby Punt. Yeah. Thanks. Pleasure and honour. Thanks guys. Thanks Rob. Cheers, guys.